Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and I just got the brand new Keto Mojo GK Plus Blood Glucose and Ketone Monitor. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing, and we're going to put it through its paces. Inside the box, first we have this quick reference card here. So let's see what some of the highlights are. Meter and strip prices have been reduced. We knew you'd like that one. I jumped out onto the Keto Mojo website right before starting this video, and strips are now 20% less. So that's kind of cool, especially if you've ever gotten one of those EU errors on the ketone strip. You know, I realize the strips are like a dollar a piece, and it shouldn't change my lifestyle when I waste one, but it still kind of irritates me. So cool to know, a little bit cheaper. Also, on that topic, I spoke with Andrew at Keto Mojo, and they have been selling this monitor in Europe since February. You know, I always pronounce it February, but there's an R in there. And then when I try and say February, it just feels weird to me. Anyhow, the second month of the year, they've been selling this in Europe. And he says categorically far, far fewer errors on test strips. So that's great news too. Individually packaged glucose and ketone strips preserve sterility and increase shelf life. All right, I don't know how I feel. If I got to like rip open every single strip that I use, we'll see. We'll see if that's a big deal or not. Ooh, also includes a control solution. So you can always know that you're calibrated. That's good. And of course, there's a lifetime warranty. All right, it says it's got a new cutting edge eight electrode biosensor. It's almost impossible to have fill errors. Good news. No longer need a code key for your ketone strips. It's got Bluetooth, FDA approved, HIPAA compliant. Let's see what else we got. We have the Keto Mojo itself. An extra 60 test strips, both for glucose and ketones. A little thank you card. And a fridge magnet with the optimal glucose and ketone readings. All right. We have... We have the monitor itself. In terms of size, here's the old Keto Mojo. Here's the new one. I don't know, what do you think? 20% smaller, maybe? There's the Lancet pen. Control solution for both blood glucose and ketones. A bunch of Lancets. 10 test strips each for blood glucose and ketones. And a whole ton of instructions and stuff that I'm not gonna read. Because if this is simple, I shouldn't have to read instructions. Pull out the battery strip. I've opened the Keto Mojo app, hit sync, and wow, set up. It was that fast. I just saw the, uh, the time adjust. So I pulled that right off my phone. It got the time and date. For my blood test, I'm going to be using my own little Lancet pen here. This is a Care Touch. I'll link to that down below. I prefer it over the one that comes with the kit. And speaking of what comes with a kit, one thing I did notice that is not in this kit are alcohol swabs. So you're gonna wanna get some of these. Okay. Not sure how I feel about the whole individually wrapped strips thing. Kinda feel like that might be unnecessary. All right, we will load the strip. Automatically turns on. Kinda cool too, there's like a little flashlight at the end here to light the end of your strip. Kind of a neat little addition. And we are at an 84 for the baseline. I probably should have opened both strips before stabbing myself here. So if it appears that I'm being very dainty with this hand, it's because I'm still trying to maintain that blood drop. I, I kind of fear that ripping these open, I'm going to damage a strip at some point. We'll see. Ketones at 0.7. And we'll open the Keto Mojo app. Hit the sync button. Turn on the power. Found it just that quick. Synchronizing, 
grabbed our readings. So according to the app, I am in a low level of GKI ketosis. Now the timing on getting this meter is kind of fortuitous because I'm in the process of doing a video series on resistant starch, which should show me some pretty decent blood glucose spikes. And then tomorrow I am starting an extended fast, probably 72 to 84 hour fast. So I expect to see some really good ketone numbers in that. So it's gonna be nice. I will be able to put this meter through its paces from sort of high end to low end. So I'll be back in a day or two with some more test results. All right, for the two hour test, I will be doing both blood glucose and ketones. And if you hear some noise off to the side, it's my grandson sitting there having lunch. And blood glucose is at 148. Ketones, still at 0.7. So I've tested my blood glucose and ketones after a high carb meal to see how they were affected. Now I am in about hour 62 of an extended fast. And what we ought to see is at the very least some nice elevated ketones. Now it's actually saying hypo here. It's indicating to me that I've got low blood sugar. And the ketone reading, 4.3, wowzers. You can see what my GKI was earlier in the day. We'll do a sync. That is pretty fast. 0.8, wow, we are deep into ketosis right now. In my review of the Keto Mojo Bluetooth unit, I talked about the FDA standards for certification for home medical devices. And to be certified, a device needs to be within 15% accurate at least 95% of the time. According to the manual, the Keto Mojo is within 15% 100% of the time in the trials that they conducted. Additionally, for certification, a device needs to be within 20% accurate 99% of the time. And once again, the Keto Mojo in their trials, 100% accurate. That's for blood glucose. For blood ketones, 100% of their tests were within 0.1 mmol per liter. So pretty accurate. So to kind of summarize what I love and what I maybe don't love about this new GK Plus. First, why don't I talk about the loves? It's a nice slick little unit. It is fast at syncing. I love that. The Bluetooth on this, it syncs up like that. I like the app. The app currently integrates with, I believe, 10 other health apps on iOS and Android, and I know they're always adding more. You also have some additional flexibility in terms of how you measure. You can mark a measurement as like pre-food or post-food. I think they've got like a more scientific name for that. I like that it comes with control solution. So if you're concerned that maybe you're not getting accurate readings, you can test those out. If you find out that for some reason your device is out of calibration, you can contact Keto Mojo. They'll take care of you. I will also link to a video on how to do that testing down below because it wasn't super clear to me in the manual. Given the quantity of testing that I do, especially on videos, I also like the fact that test strips now are 20% less. One of my concerns was the individually packed strips. And the first concern was that ripping one of these packages open, I might damage one of the test strips. I have been pretty aggressive at tearing these things open and have not damaged a strip. So that's not a concern anymore. I do kind of miss just the old pop top, pull out a strip thing, not having to deal with tearing them apart. It's a little nuisance, but you know, I'm gonna mention it anyway. One thing I'm not sure how I feel about is this new case. I like the fact that it's a little smaller. It's got sort of a semi hard case, but what I don't like is the sort of pocket layout here. I feel like lots of times when I'm closing it, the power button winds up hitting something in here and turning it on. You know, 
I'm sure it turns off after a minute or two and you know the batteries are just like double AA, A, triple A, something like that. Not a big deal, but I do kind of prefer the old style case with one big pocket, sort of loops for my other stuff in here. It would be nice if maybe there was some, something along the spine or, or something like that with a little elastic loop for my stabby pen. Kind of a nitpicky thing, I know. I mentioned earlier in the video the little flashlight at the end. I think that's good. It's a little quality of life thing to illuminate where you're doing your blood draw. I'm not used to the location of the eject button for the strip. I've gotten so used to the other one with the little thumb switch over here. Now this one, it's underneath. Just sort of seems like a slightly awkward location for me. And then one other last thing that I like, I have not gotten in all of my tests an error on a strip, which makes me very happy. That was one of the frustrations that I had with the earlier Keto Mojo and have not experienced it yet with the GK Plus. So on the whole, I would say I'm very pleased with this unit. Is it worth upgrading if you already have a Keto Mojo? I don't know. I don't know, especially if you have the Bluetooth, I don't know. I have been told by Andrew at Keto Mojo that they are going to have an upgrade path so people can trade in their old unit for the new unit. There's nothing about it on their website yet. I sent out an email to their customer service to find out what the details are and they haven't gotten back to me yet. That was just this morning. So as soon as I get that information, I will absolutely post it down in the video description below. But I'd probably say that if you have the Keto Mojo, especially the Bluetooth Keto Mojo right now, and you got a ton of strips, I don't see any reason to make an upgrade. But on the other hand, if you've got perhaps an older unit, you're out of strips, then probably worth the upgrade. I will include a link down below in the description for 15% off any Keto Mojo kit. And that I believe is it for this video and review. Thanks for watching.